Hi everyone, Saskia here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. I'm here with little Trudy today and we are going to show you what a health check looks like. This is something you can do for your guinea pig. Weekly actually would be good. Um, the more, you know, you know what, you can actually do it whenever you pick up. Just, I do at least. I cannot pick up a guinea pig without doing my little feel here and there, you know, and the little look. But, um, it's up to you how often you want to do it, but let me show you what it is you want to be looking for, okay? So firstly, let's see what I have here. I have my Q-tips, which are important. I have my nail clipper, and I have my styptic powder, just in case I make a mistake and trim a little too short. Then I got a little olive oil that I might need for ear cleaning, and then um, I've got the ivermectin, which is the preventative against lice mites and oops internal parasites as well as the paste I wanted to show you that as well because that is also an ivermectin but it's um, you, you give it to them it's a little different so okay so the first thing when guinea pigs come for their health check I just take a look at them like this I just want to make sure that everything kind of looks okay I can tell a lot by just looking and of course you need to know what you're looking for right so that's what I'm gonna explain so I'm kind of looking at the nose I'm looking at the at the eyes I'm just kind of checking here looking at the bottom of the feet and so then I put her back and then let's start the proper health check so one of the things I will start with is I want to check the neck I'm gonna feel in the neck and the best way to do that is actually to go like this literally like this there is a, a little lymph node here can you sweet pea? No, I know what am I doing You want to check if that if you feel anything specific that stands out because you really don't you should feel maybe just a little tiny little bump there but nothing like really major like oh my goodness I can feel something there that's not good you're gonna want to address that okay so I'm just checking that I don't feel anything crazy and I don't so that's good um, then I check the ears I want to make sure that the ears are nice and clean as you can see with her she is the ears are nice and clean this is what it's supposed to look like and I will often kind of do this first to see if any dirt comes out and there doesn't so that tells me that her ears are clean now if she didn't have clean ears I would probably want to apply a little drop of olive oil and then really work it into the ear and you're just doing the outside of the ear you're not cleaning the inside of the inner canal we're not going there um, and then you take a Q-tip and with the Q-tip you just take out all the remaining dirt that, that sits kind of on the oil that you put in there and there and then you have a clean ear so you do that on both sides then you are going to trim the nails so we like this particular nail trimmer it is a Japanese brand called Green Bell and it just is the better nail clipper. So for someone like me who clips nails all day long, I'm gonna want one like this. Um, Tweez and Men is also a good brand. And I'm gonna put links to all the stuff that we're using here that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put links up. So you wanna look. So let's have a look, take a look at these nails. Her nails actually don't really need doing because she has already been checked in and has been at the rescue, but I'm gonna show you just a little bit. I'm gonna trim off a little bit here just to show you guys. There was like barely anything. Now, how far can you go when you're clipping nails? Because these nails look good. These are not too long, not too short. So I always say what is a really good measure is this is the nail. And as soon as that nail starts to curl, that's where you can cut, okay? So that's actually a good measure. So this is the nail, this is where you can cut. Where are you going? I got gotcha. you. You're not going to go. <laughs> Silly. It's okay. She's a little scared. So that's a really good measure. It's really easy to, to stick with that, okay? Curl in the nail where it starts to curl. That's where you can cut. So that will help you a lot. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to check her teeth and her mouth. I want to make sure that the teeth look good. So I'm going to hold. This is how I hold them see how I'm kind of making a V with my with my hand and I put that little her little hand in there that is so much better than if I'm holding her like this because I don't have as much control over her and she does not feel as comfortable so just by grabbing that little leg there I am 
a lot more in charge and I can just do my job better. Okay, so then I'm going to lift up with the other hand, lift up her lips. And she's being a very good girl, she's letting me do it. And when you lift up the lip, you want to go all the way to the top because you want to make sure there's no food residue stuck between the gum line and the teeth. So that looks good. Now I'm going to look at the bottom. So with the bottom, same thing. You're just going to bring down all the way down. So not like this. I'm like, oh yeah, it looks good. No, you're going to want to see all the way down to the root. And again, same reason. You want to make sure that there's no abnormal growth happening there. Because sometimes the guinea pigs get older. They can actually get some, you know, abnormal growth or with a little piece that starts to grow out that can happen or some breakage that can occur and the food that can get stuck in the in, in the bottom there between the gum line so we don't want any of that and she was really really easy to do because sometimes they'll they'll struggle a little bit so it's you know it's practice so definitely practice holding and practice you know opening the lips back uh, up and down and um, and it will get easier for you Okay, because a lot of times people say you make it look all so easy and it's because I do it all day long so seriously in you know when they say practice makes perfect that is exactly what it is you gotta just start doing it and and people that are a little afraid like oh my gosh I'm just a little scared I'm hurting her and but you you know you won't be hurting her so don't be afraid of that but just go for it because you're gonna have to okay so that's my my advice here okay so teeth look good the other thing I also like doing is smelling the mouth because if there is anything going on in the mouth if there's any kind of you know food stuck and that is rotting or an abscess brewing or anything infected teeth um, you can smell it so this is not the nicest part of it but I just go like that and go oh this smells good <laughs> So you're good, yes. Well, she is a younger girl, and of course, younger guinea pigs do not really have problems uh, that the older ones are gonna get. So it's it's you know the likelihood she's going to be healthy is pretty big. Okay, so then I'm going to kind of turn her over a little bit, and then still again, I'm still got her here. And what I'm looking for specifically right now is her private part, and I am wanting to check right here. So this is the urethra and then I want to check right in this area because with older females sometimes they can get a bladder stone that has come all the way down here that gets stuck there and you can literally feel it. It's a bump. So it is good to start familiarizing yourself with what it is supposed to feel like so that when there is something there that's not supposed to you are going to know right away uh, rather than thinking huh that's you know maybe this is part of who or what the guinea pig is so that is really important right here now you want to also look at the nipples you want to make sure that there is no growth here you want to make sure that the nipples are clear especially with older females there's no crusts around the nipple so a nice nipple like this looks good there's no crusties there's no you know not anything going on it looks perfect you want to then check also while you're there at the bottom of the feet you want to make sure see how nice and black this is because she has a black skin this is how feet are supposed to look like now were this gray and a little dry then she may have a, a foot fungus so that is something you want to check for as well the same at the at the front feet so that we don't want then I put them back down and actually I so I don't have a uh, you know like I this is what I do first and secondly I move on to that I'm like all over the place and I try not to forget anything when I'm doing health checks you want to check the nose as well we were already in this area so I forgot to mention you want to see if there's any discharge from the nose which is not good um, that could be an indication of something and you also want to check the eyes so the eyes are supposed to look like this nice bright eyes no discharge no anything now if your guinea pig has kind of dull looking eyes and there is a little discharge or a little crusties then that could also be an indication of there is something going on with your guinea pig if it's just one eye though then it could be a localized issue with just one eye having a little infection or a problem but if it's both eyes then it is usually because there is something going on with the whole body all right okie dokie so then what i do then is i check overall for lumps and bumps which you can actually do by going like this if you go like this you can really feel 
if there is anything that shouldn't be there like working your way through ever and they don't they this is what they do she kind of goes off <laughs> being really silly look she's not quite sure if she likes this look at her she's all <laughs> on her haunches silly girl that's how you're gonna feel for for lumps okay they're very prone to get uh, sebaceous cysts which are kind of larger lumps that can grow or they can stay small that are filled with like pimple matter um, so you want to feel and see if anything's going on now underneath here there's a lot of excess skin this is really important a lot of people are not aware of this see this even with the younger guinea pigs the older your guinea pig gets the more of this excess skin they will have I'm literally just holding the excess skin within that excess skin you will find uneven kind of fatty bits okay like lipomas just it's just fat now those lumps are completely harmless they can get them under the chin as well they can get them under the chin I can feel she just says a little bit of it and the older they get like I said the, the, the more it becomes and they're gonna have them here so those are often those are lipomas which are often um, uh, confused with memory gland tumors because they're just lumpy and they're just right here and those two sometimes can grow really big and then become a problem because it interferes with 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 the walking um, but those are all videos for later I just wanted to show you what a basic health check looks like and I have a boy as well so I'm going to show you his boy parts and what to look for that with a boy okay so let's get our boy okay so here I am with a boy guinea pig so with the boy you are also going to check the privates but the privates of course look a little different and as you can see he is due for a little nail clip and it's easier because he's got the uh, pink nails so with a boy you are going to want to put on your gloves first off you are going to want to see if this is clean or not so he has a nice cleany weenie and then you want to press gently on the side so you see the prongs come out to make sure there is nothing stuck in the urethra which it's not perfect okay so you can put that away then they have a pocket which sometimes will collect smegma and other icky stuff and this is not the anus because the anus is actually right here where my q-tip is that is the anus and if he were to make a poopy right now oh no here it is sorry this is the anus see that that is not the pocket it's completely different so we're not going in here this is a little pocket before that it's like a little scent gland located there and you just want to take out this stuff when they get older it'll get more and it'll get a little dirtier so this is just something to do uh, as part of your regular health check with your boy and that was pretty clean yeah good boy and so lastly I want to talk about parasites because they can get little lice and little mites that you can often see some you don't but you want to really look at your guinea pig and I usually start at the back where I go and check on the actual hair so I make an opening where I'm looking through the skin uh, sorry through the hair onto the skin directly and if there are little lice those are like little static running lice you will see them it's easier when it's darker hair because you can e e see those e more easily those are like the kind of beigey in color but he looks pretty darn good they are usually here or by the eye on the head you can often see them as well and then there are the kinds that are the fur mites that literally just attach themselves to the ends of the hair here and it will look like dirt it'll look like oh what is that you cannot see them but once you put that under the microscope you will see they're having a party <laughs> I actually have some footage of that um, so that's what you want to check for okay very important and then the foot fungus I mentioned that already that is really very important to check for the foot fungus you want to make sure there's no you know red angry looking pink skin swollen digits um, dry white skin or gray if your guinea pig has, a, has black skin okay so that is definitely indication of some type of fungus going on and those can cause bumblefoot that's another video I can cover as well but um, so there if you just do all of that then you're in a good space to figure out if your guinea pigs healthy great thanks Seth you're welcome